Feet over southwest in uh, Moab, Utah, about a scion. What's up? Uh, yeah, yeah, hold one second. I don't have a claim number on that, so I don't know what, uh, they never sent me any claim number or anything. No, that's fine. This is uh, for the FRS. Yeah. Yes, um, so yeah, I was calling. I got an assignment from State Farm. Uh, uh -huh. I was working on trying to get handled the process. Um, now, do y'all still have the vehicle, or did they just come by for an estimate? No, I still have the vehicle there. I've actually fixed several of the dents on it already because he told me he wanted to have it fixed. So I started fixing them, okay. and now we're kind of at a standstill because uh, I told him, well, I'm not fixing anymore because, you know, we don't know what's going on. So I stopped working on okay. it. But I did, okay. do, I, already do, I did do some paintless dent repair on it already on the fenders, yeah. on the fenders and the windshield pillars. But I haven't, okay. done, I haven't done anything to the hood or the top or the... Uh, trunk lid, no. Okay, um, well that was what I was calling. We got, I got y'all's photos, got the assignment. Um, I was, uh, trying to get this, uh, basically handle the process. Just, um, just going off of, like, because I got to go, basically, you know, off, you know, State Farm's guidelines with, uh, with, you know, the PDR and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, so just a lot of the, you know, you know, if I do like to PDR the hood, you know, with the amount of, you know, dents and stuff that I could yeah, see. Yeah, there's 40, the there, I counted 42. I sent, I sent them pictures with the uh, tape marks. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So when I go off of those, like, the hood, um, it, it's definitely cheaper to replace the hood than right. to spend that amount of time. That's on one of the reasons, and that's one of the reasons I didn't do the trunk and the top and the hood. Because I thought maybe it, I even told the guy I said it might be cheaper to replace them, you know. But I'm gonna go ahead and give you this estimate, and he said we'll turn it in and see what they do. Yeah. So with the with the hood, you know, or with the with the hood, it was definitely a little cheaper to be to be replaced. Yeah. Uh, so I went that route. Um, now with the roof and with the trunk. Um, just like when I insert, like, I think you had, uh, I'm trying to pull your estimate back up again. So you had, like, on the roof, I think you had 38 dime size dents. Yes. Um, and so when I put, like, that into my system, it only comes out to, like, you know, three, four hundred bucks. Huh. So. Well. Uh, yeah, and you're probably and you're probably on your estimate, you're probably doing it at two or three dollars a dent. Yeah, just so I have to, you know, I have to get with them because you know, typically usually when it's going to the well, interview, I have to, you know, especially with the hail, they have it preset. Okay, so you're telling me, you're telling me on thirty-eight dime-sized dents uh, at fifteen hundred and twenty dollars, and the hood has forty-two dimes. You're going to replace the hood. Instead of pay three hundred dollars or whatever you're you're talking about to fix the hood, you're going to replace that versus thirty eight dime size dents, and you're well, telling me that there. doesn't even make look that there. doesn't even make sense, sir. No, I was just I wasn't saying that. I was just so how much? Uh, what's your what's your estimate on replacing a hood if you're only telling me thirty eight dime size dents is four hundred dollars and we only got forty two? on the hood. What's your estimate? Are you telling me I'm going to go buy a used hood too? A junkyard hood over at LKQ? Well, yeah, if one comes up available... One ain't going to come up. Listen to me. I'm in Moab, Utah. You've probably never and been here. Too. I'm out in the middle of nowhere. The closest LKQ is in Salt Lake City, and you're going to call them up and talk to the guy, and he's going to tell you, we don't have any hoods here. Okay, sir, I didn't pull up any hoods. So hold on a minute. Let me ask a question, please, because I'm not done talking. You're telling me that you're going to pay 400 bucks to fix 38 dime-sized hail dance, paintless dance repair, and you're telling me on the hood, to replace the hood, is cheaper than fixing 42 dime-sized dance? And how much are you going to pay me to replace a hood on this car and blend the paint to match? Because it's a pearl paint, so I'll have to blend it. How much are you going to pay me to do that? 
and, and include the part with it. I want to know. Because it can't be any more than $400 on your estimate. Well, sir, that's why I was calling to talk to you about this was because I just put in there to replace the hood. I didn't even look okay. like... What, I just saw the dollar amount you had. You had if you put it in there to replace it, then you got a, a, a number. Cheaper. How much? Yeah, the, How much? It came out to 1600 bucks. So you're going to pay $1,600. That's $80 cheaper. You're going to pay $1,600 to replace a hood that has 42 dime-sized dents, but you're only going to pay $400 to do PDR to the sir, roof on 38 dance? Sir, I wasn't even, I was just telling you that it was cheaper to replace the hood. No, you said $400 on the roof, and now you're telling me 1600 on the hood. Okay, sir, if you listen to me, as I was telling you, I just looked at your dollar amount. I didn't even okay. look at how many dents you had on there. I just said, hey, it's cheaper to replace the hood than the dollar amount you had. Yeah. But then that's why I wanted to get to how your estimating system works, because when I put in the amount of dents in the, from the photos that you sent in and the amount of dents you sent in, the insurance company, how they do their PDR, it's preset. I, I can't change the yeah. number. I basically type in 40 dents. Mm -hmm. Dime size, it spits out a number. Okay, how much? So okay, hold on a minute. How much? How much is it to fix forty-two dents when you punch that number in? What's the calculation for forty-two dime size? I would, I would have to pull the estimate back up. If okay, if, that, okay, hold on a minute. Let's go ahead and calculate that. You got thirty dents. Let's say you got thirty-eight dents. I'm going to get my calculator out. Okay, because this is real simple to figure out. So you got four hundred dollars. You said uh, divided by thirty-eight. Okay, you're paying ten dollars and fifty-two cents to fix thirty-eight dents. So if if it's ten fifty-two, we had forty-two dents. Okay, hold on, don't hang up on me. We're figuring it out here. We got forty-two times ten dollars point fifty-two cents, and that equals out to four forty-one. Now, how are you going to sit there and tell me? Well, we can replace that hood cheaper than sixteen hundred eighty dollars. Because I'm just telling you what the cost. I was just telling you what a cost of a hood is versus what the price you had in there. I wasn't even. I okay. Wasn't even, I didn't even get to the but if you're of working the for the insurance company and you're supposed to be their 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 blue blood guy, top dog out of the you know working in your home or whatever you're doing, uh, don't you think that you would call me up and say, "Hey, you got sixteen hundred dollars to fix forty-two dimes here." They're only paying ten dollars. We're only going to pay four hundred dollars to fix it. Uh, the point I'm getting to. Hold on a minute. The point I'm getting to here is you estimators that work for the insurance companies don't fix the damn things. You don't. You don't have. You don't own a shop. You don't get your hands dirty. But you got all the answers and are going to tell me what you're going to do for me. Well, sir, I don't. I'm not telling you what I'm doing, but I'm just telling you what the owner okay. of the vehicle, what their policy covers. This is my opinion. You so want my opinion? I'm just letting you know that per the owner's policy. But you what you said is bullshit. That this is going to be the cost of it. If I actually put on there that we're going to fix all this and repaint the car by the time we blend all the paint in to fix all these dents, we're going to end up painting the whole car. Well, sir, I'm just telling you, going off of the insurance company's guidelines, if I put 42 dent size dents, you know, let's say on the hood, I just put it on the hood, yeah. it's $275. And I can okay. more to it because it's aluminum. Oh, my gosh. You're not even making sense. You said on the roof it was $400 for 38 dents, and on the hood, you're telling me it's uh, $280 for 42? I never, I, I'm putting in the, I'm wow. the amounts now. This doesn't even make sense, dude. This ain't making no sense at all, bud.
filed an insurance window, like okay. the prices are, and that, that you don't agree to their pricing, and then they'll make a decision. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like said, most likely the owner will just be responsible for the price difference. Let me ask you this. What is the bottom? Okay, my bottom dollar price, I'm going to go ahead and tell you. You already know, it's $5,008. What's your bottom dollar price to fix I that car? I haven't even finalized the estimate, sir. I was the <laughs> one to call and to get you to get Well, you know what? I'm going to speculate. By the way, you're talking on fixing this car. I think the bottom dollar is going to be like $1,800. $1,760. And then now, now you're coming back and you're telling me, well, you know what? I'm going to recommend to the insurance company that this is how much it is, and then the owner will have to pay the rest of it. Well, let me tell you this, bud. Yeah. Well, let me tell you this. Right. Let me go ahead and tell you this part of the story that you probably already know. I have the car in my possession, okay? I've already done work to the vehicle because I thought we were going to fix it. So money's already owed to Southwest Paint and Body. The owner, the owner has, the owner has State Farm Insurance to cover the damage of his vehicle. The owner isn't going to pay a nickel except what he owes on his deductible. Anything over that, the insurance company's liable. This is something you need to take a note with on your computer uh, that you work so hard on. This is the this is the message. Okay. Well, this is my decision. Can I tell you? Can I tell you my decision, sir? Yes, sir. The motherfucking car ain't going anywhere until I get my fucking money, and uh, that's the way it goes. And once the car's done, there'll be a uh, uh, well, let's see. We'll go ahead and say since you kind of pissed me off, we'll make it eighty-five dollar a day storage fee. How's that sound? Okay. Okay. And uh, and if you call me up and piss me off again, we might go ahead and jack it up to $125 a day storage fee. Because this is my property, it's my business, and I can charge whatever the fuck I want. Okay, sir. Do you see what I'm saying, though? Do you understand? my? Just like the insurance company can, uh, you know, tell me what to do as a communist country tries to do. Oh, we're only going to pay you $300 to fix the hood and 400 for that. Yeah, you guys, your, your fucking calculations don't match up. Okay. 400 for the hood, 300 for this. Bullshit. That's what I'm saying, okay? Bullshit, dude. What's your name? My name is Kyle. Okay, Kyle, do you work from the house? Because I heard little children in the background. Yes, I do work from the Okay, house. tell your children I'm sorry for saying bullshit. I don't mean to cuss. I don't mean to cuss in front of the little baby child, but you know what? I'm not going to be treated like a fucking, uh, uh, an invalid that is, uh, gutter trash either. Okay? Tell, tell State Farm, uh, I've been working with State Farm for 40 fucking years. How long have you been working for them? I don't work for State Farm, sir. Oh, I know. You're a, you're a, you're an outside guy. Uh, you're a contractor. I'm not. I'm a body shop that makes a living every fucking day. And I get up at 3.30 in the morning. I work seven fucking days a week. With my hands, Kyle. I get dirty every day. I might wear the same clothes five or six days in a fucking row. I might only take a shower once a week. Because I'm too tired to get up at night or, or go to bed and not take one. So tell State Farm Insurance, fuck off. Okay? Thank you. Goodbye, Kyle. I'm sick and tired of the insurance company telling me what to do and how I need to do it to get the job done the right way. He's telling me that they were, at first, well, we could get the hood cheaper if we replace it $16 or $80. And then he says, well, I'm only going to fix the roof, 38 dents, for $400. Oh, I just put the calculation in for the hood to fix 42 dents, and it came up to $280. Fuck you. You don't even know what the fuck you're talking about, Kyle. Take your calculations in your computer program and throw it in the trash and go get a real job. Dig in ditches, bitch. Get over at Southwest in uh, Moab, Utah. About a scion. What's up? Bitch. 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 Bastard 
So here's the hail damage on the, the hood. This is all hail damage. And then you can see the fender over here has damage. And then the fender over here, of course, uh, has damage. The hail came from this direction here and sweeped across the car. Let's go ahead. So there's the fender, the hail damage on the fender. And then here's the roof. Well, actually, this is the A-pillar right here, uh, the windshield pillar. And then here's the roof. Here's all the dents on the roof that we found. And then let's go back here, and then here's the trunk. Here's the trunk lid. And then there's the other fender right there. And then we had two or three dents, dings right here on this uh, upper pillar. So that's the damage we're talking about. Breaking news, we just got, uh, um, I got the owner on texting here. And um, we just got the breakdown of what the insurance wants to pay for this extreme hail damage vehicle. And uh, I want to go ahead and show you what they're saying. Um, they're saying that the parts are $1,277 and the labor is $221. Minus $500 deductible, of course. And then they go on to say, Southwest Paint and Body has completed your estimate. Uh, we'll send a payment for repairs to you or your shop, and, and you'll pay the shop once repairs are complete. So let me go ahead and show you this. See, can you see that right there? Look real close. Now this is State Farm Insurance. All right, this is State Farm. I want to show you that. Now, I want to ask a serious question. If there is any PDR, professional PDR um, uh, uh, repair guys out there, I, I want to ask you to leave a comment below and tell me how disgusting and, and vile that this is to a paying customer that's had insurance with them for 15 years plus um, and never ever in their life had a claim on their car that they are going to only pay $221 labor. Now they said that there's $1,200 in parts. They don't have any paint supplies on there. They don't have anything whatsoever. This guy Kyle that is a contract worker, a remote worker for this company needs to be fired. He needs to be fired and he needs to be put in uh, uh, in retention, you might say, maybe in the dunce corner with a dunce cap. He couldn't even get the labor correct as we were talking to him. He said that it was $400, and then he said on the 42 dents on the, uh, the, the hood was $280. It's not my fault, people. I'm just the guy here that is standing up for you the citizen of America, the body shop of America, I'm standing up for you and showing you the situation that's real. This is bullshit, it's a total sham, and it's a fucking joke. $221 labor. I'm fucking laughing out my asshole. Thank you. Thank you very much, State Farm. If you are calling about an existing claim for a customer, state the nine-digit claim number now. Speak with representative. Automotive claim. We've identified you as an auto repair facility. The shop claim view now allows users to view additional information online like lost details. Speak with representative. If you have the extension you are trying to reach, please say or enter it now. All of our representatives are assisting other customers. You see, they hang up on you when, when you know, they don't want to mess with you, 
Okay, it's, it's bullshit. This is what you go through when you're dealing with these people. It's a total sham and a total scam and a nightmare. All of our Motherfucker. Are Do you see? Please Do you see? The They're still the gonna stick it in our ass. Millions and millions of dollars being shipped to these people that can't even answer the phone. A fucking joke. Thank you for calling State Farm Claims. This is Emily. How can I help you? I was talking to a guy named Matt and he uh, hung up on me for no reason. Put me on hold. I was on hold for 30 minutes and he hung up on me. Okay, I do apologize. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you have a claim number here? Yes, I do. 44-6-38 Charlie. Okay, and, and your, your name, sir? My name is Pete with Southwest Paint and Body. It should have pulled up that I'm a, a, okay. Okay, a service first shop for State Farm. Is that correct? Yes, he, sir. You're electronically capable from what I can see. He brought the vehicle to me. I gave him an estimate. It's got it's riddled with hail damage. I wrote the estimate up. You can see that. Then uh -huh. I get a I get a call from Kyle Otis, which is an estimator for Snapsheet Inc. He writes an estimate up from the pictures that I sent him and uh, writes up $220 labor and $1,200 in parts for PDR uh, uh, hail damage. And tells the customer if you want any more money, go get it from uh, have the body shop. You're you're liable to pay the body shop. What kind of insurance action is that? When I talked to this guy on the when I talked to this guy on the phone, it sounded like he was watching cartoons in his living room. Mm. I now I do apologize about that. Mm -hmm. I have the car at my shop. I've already done work to this vehicle. I am going to stop doing work to this vehicle. I hope you're taking notes on this. From what I... Our... Our estimatics team, they do the estimates based on general labor costs that are in your area. So okay. That is what State Farm is going to approve. Okay, that's fine. And you can do that. Part, uh -huh. Let me go ahead and tell you my labor okay. part, labor rates. Are you ready? My labor rates for paint labor is $80 an hour. My paint supplies are $55 an hour. My frame hours, my frame labor is $100 an hour. My mechanic labor is $125. And my body labor is $80. Just like it states on the estimate that I wrote for Mr. Tipton. That is not a happy camper. A matter of fact, I believe Mr. Tipton is now looking for another insurance company to uh, handle his claims because he has paid you people thousands and thousands of dollars from what he told me, and this is his first claim he's ever had. And you are treating this claim. Well, and this is such a safe standard. We're, we're holding it to safe standards that is written in their policy. Okay. So if you have any discrepancies, there are instructions at the top to send in a supplement if yeah. you want something else reviewed. I'm not sending a supplement. I'm not sending in a supplement for $4,000 when I wrote the estimate up. I'm not doing that. When you ridiculously write up an estimate to fix this guy's vehicle for $221, that's a, that's a ridiculous, that's ridiculous. I'm not doing it, okay? Well, we'll be I want to talk to I want to talk to a supervisor. I want to talk to somebody. And let me ask you this: Are you going to put me on hold and hang up on me in 20 minutes? Are no, you going to do that? Uh, for callbacks on supervisor, it's going to be about 24 to 48 turnaround. So okay, I'm not going to hang up on you. I want, I want to talk to the adjuster. I want to talk to the adjuster of this claim. What's the adjuster's well, name? Adjuster the claim. But the people who do the estimates, it would be through Snapsheet. Yes. Oh, so, so you're telling me 
Kyle Otis that's sitting there eating a bowl of Fruit Loops and watching cartoons. That's the adjuster? No. He is just an adjuster that oh. handled the claim at the time. He's a remote and worker. You know, He's a remote worker. Adjuster. I get it. Please he, stop yelling yeah. at me, please. Who's For not? Who's time. yelling? Have a great day. Hello. Hello. You bitch. Bitch. Bitch faster. Well, it's been three weeks since we actually talked to the insurance company about repairing the customer's vehicle, and the car is still sitting in my parking lot untouched. Uh, and if you look over there, right next to the old Chevy truck, in between that and the Toyota, there's the car still sitting, yes, in the same spot where I actually did the estimate. That's it, right there. So I actually fixed approximately 16 dents on the vehicle already on the top of the fenders and the A-pillar. Those are already done. And I haven't been paid a dime. Um, the owner is threatening the insurance company to drop his policies, which they don't give a shit. They have millions and millions of policy holders. Why would they care about this one policy holder? The insurance company has not contacted me again. They are sticking to their guns. They're only going to pay $287 labor to fix the vehicle or whatever it was. And if you don't like it, tough shit. Uh, this vehicle has been riddled with hail damage. You saw it. And me and the owner of the vehicle are the ones that are suffering. Take it to the bank. The insurance companies are not your friend. The insurance companies don't give one jack shit about you or your vehicle or anything else. They are in the business to take your money and keep your money and never give it back. And where are they coming up with $1,200 worth of parts? I don't understand that. They're coming up with $1,200 worth of parts and $200 labor for hail damage. I guess they were gonna go ahead and replace the hood and scuff and paint that and not blend any paint. If it doesn't match, it gives a shit. And then the $284, I don't know where the fuck that was going. Listen to me, people. Do your P's and Q's with your insurance companies. Pick the right one. We are forced to have automobile insurance and this is the kind of treatment that we get. This is it. Oh, and then in turn, I forgot to tell you this, uh, the insurance company will manipulate the owner and distract him from the body shop and make stakes of claim that the body shop is the bad guy, that the uh, body shop is not cooperating, and the body shop is this, and the owner is that, and we got recordings, and this is what he says and what he does. So always beware that uh, not all body shop owners are in it to make the money. They're in it to help their customers out, kind of like my friend Pete. But uh, the insurance companies will make very, very 100% sure that I am the asshole and I'm the piece of shit and I'm the scumbag that, uh, yeah, is screwing the owner around that doesn't want to fix his car. I'm the one. I'm the bad guy. Remember that. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>